How did I get my first client is a, a really funny story. And, um, you know, my number one core value is deep, meaningful relationships. And my first two clients with the SEO agency were actually people that I saw every day. Um, so at the time I was living in Cole Harbor, Vancouver, and, um, you know, I had a puppy Zaya who I take on a walk every day. And this was at the time when, uh, I was kind of tapering down on the Kindle publishing and for very similar points that I was mentioning, um, one of the issues with, with publishing on, on Amazon is you don't have direct connection with the customer. So although I was, you know, I was crushing, you know, fifteen, sixteen thousand $16,000 a month at the time, and this is God, five, six years ago, actually maybe longer. Um, I was really craving for, for connection and, uh, you know, a, a mentor of mine, uh, Dan Locke, who I, I joined his mastermind, again, maybe about three or four years ago, uh, gave me the idea to start, start an agency. And because I had Amazon experience and I love search marketing, I love it. I love solving people's problems. I decided to step into the SEO world. So, uh, decided to buy a course. I think it was like $8,000 or something crazy like that. It was like $500 a month, which to me at that time, uh, was, was scary to be completely honest with you, but I made the commitment and, uh, the, the way that they sold the program was like, if you get one client at $500 a month, it will cover the, you know, it'll cover the course payment. And then you essentially have this information for free. And I was like, you know what, that really makes sense. So, uh, there was actually a doggy daycare, not doggy daycare, sorry, a dog store downstairs, exactly where I lived. Um, and they also did dog grooming. And then there was actually a coffee shop right down the street from where I lived. And again, I would see these guys every day, you know, I'd go downstairs, walk into the dog shop, I'd get, you know, I'd get dog treats. And we just started talking. And then I realized that these were business owners that could potentially need help. Now, in hindsight, a coffee shop and doing SEO is <laughs> definitely not the right move. But uh, all I did is I told them like, look, uh, I think I can really add a lot of value to your company. And I offered them a money back guarantee. And the thing is, is I had relationships built with them over, over time. So this was not some sort of cold prospecting. And uh, I dove in and funny enough, both clients were $500 a month. The coffee shop, we ended up uh, not, not pursuing long-term, uh, ended up doing like a website redevelopment and uh, you know, kind of cleaning up their website and tracking, et cetera. Uh, and then the dog store, I ended up working with them for probably about a year, year and a half. Uh, she's still a very close friend of mine. Uh, but the, the interesting thing here is I just led with relationship and said, Hey, I think I can help you in this way. And, um, you know, this wasn't me selling something that I didn't know, but the reality is I wasn't an expert in any stretch, but I knew more than they did. And I knew that I could execute more than they could. And ultimately on an agency side, you're saving people time. So that's what I really identified as is like, look, you guys don't have any attention to your website, to Google, to any of the search marketing, let me do this. And then I quantified something, you know, so for the dog store, if the average person is selling or, or purchasing 50 to $60 when they walk in or a groom might be 60 or $70, uh, you know, I installed some tracking, Google analytics, and we looked at the revenue and I said, look, if all we do is get an extra 15 people or 20 people next month into your store, would that be worth it to you? And it's funny, even till today, this is the exact same way that I sell with my agency um, is, you know, we take a look at the business, understand their average order value, understand, uh, you know, the traffic, get conversion in place. And then essentially, if I see a win, this is where I say, look, let me save you the time um, and let me execute it. But uh, coming back to the main question of how did I get my first client? Ultimately, it was just relationships that I had built and going through my network and figuring out people that I had a strong relationship with that I had trust built already. And then essentially just said, hey, let, let me save you some time and then quantified a, an outcome that would be win-win.